pretty sure they're crashing our shit, honey. Yeah. Because the phone works normally not too bad. Looks like the devil is an angry boys. I don't think so. The devil is a big angry boy today. Oh. Oh. Do you need a hug, devil? Do you need a hug? <laughs> Donald, All pissed off at me for speaking the truth. Donald looks like he needs a hug recently. Ugh. I'm sorry. I don't want to smell like diaper and cosmetics. Oh. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Man, I thought the men in black took you guys down for a second. They probably did. They're messing with they, our shit. They don't they want people to know about, you know, the 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 Samson uh, option. option. No, everybody really, that matters. You should know. That. Okay. Everybody knows about that, really. Nobody wants to know why... America and all these countries have been literally becoming Israel's bitch. That's why they're Israel's bitch. They're afraid of being chucked something. And you know what? I say bring it. Go chuck your weaponry. I don't care. Do it. Do it. You know why you can't do it, you cowardly little bitches of the government? <gasps> Because God won't let it. Angels are constantly disarming your nukes, and you know it, don't you? Awesome. You know why they're disarming in your nukes? Because you brilliant men of mind who took ideas from Nazis. <gasps> Listen. Whoops. Listen. There's this thing called quantum entanglement. So you screw in with atoms and energies that you shouldn't touch here is happening somewhere else in the universe. How do you know one day you mess with uh, the atoms a little too much and you destroy the whole sun through quantum mechanics? How do you know you're not doing it right now? Mm. That's interesting. And you're blocked, so enjoy your opinion somewhere else. I don't care. Yeah, I told you block them before. It was clear to me what was going on there. IG keeps crashing. Yeah, dude. So you guys are speaking the truth. Everyone else is afraid of saying out loud. Are you concerned about your safety? Or are you willing to be martyrs? Mm-hmm. Sign me up to that martyrs list. I don't really care anymore. Yeah, uh, my favorite verse in the Bible is Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. So go, that's my answer to you. Go look up my favorite verse in the Bible. You'd be doing us a favor, bros. Yes. You're freeing us from the flesh prison. So. I really don't care anymore. I'm not afraid of these people. What are they going to do? What are they really going to do? You just take your life and make you stronger. Exactly. This is a boy. I mean, he wants to call himself Raja. He's not exactly very princely. <laughs> well, that's a name that they give their children a lot. Yeah, well, Raja. you know what? If you have the name Raja, you should act like Raja. A prince, yes. Fake prince. Especially to a princess. That's right. Or m m more awfully assumed queen. You have a bindi. I do have a bindi. This is who you're 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 attacking. Someone who's a priestess of the divine. You should know that. There you go. See. I live in another world that the people who are flesh-minded don't live in. I live in a world 
where there's compassion and joy and love and really finding how life is so precious You handled harassment that was out in the open from groups of certain people. What's worse things can people in the shadows do? Yeah, exactly. What worse can you do? I got the worst of harassment I think any person has has, has happened to them on the internet. There's no intimidation that you could do to me. You've already stripped me of my, my bare necessities. And when you strip someone of their bare necessities, you strip them of a want to have bare necessities. You're making a superhero human, really, by stripping someone of their bare necessities. Because they learn how to appreciate the simple things in life. Uh, and they learn how to live without said bare necessities. Thank you, Lynn Alicious. They're wondering why you deleted your channel. Which one? I think the Revelation News channel. Oh, yeah, it was out of my mind. I thought the government was buzzing me through my nose ring, which we took out. <laughs> uh, to basically answer your question, it's mainly that I was out of my mind. I almost completely lost my identity when I went to Colorado. Because I, most days I'd wake up and I didn't even know what the hell I was doing there. Because I, I didn't remember really what happened much. So, but honestly, my channel was going to get killed anyway. Because I had a lot of Alex Jones stuff. <clears throat> that was irreconcilable. Uh, I couldn't go back and delete them and not get my exes. So it was going to be gone anyway because of InfoWars involvement. So I decided to cut its throat. I said, do it. Just delete it. And you did it on the TV. Remember, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Chatty took the knife to it. It didn't need to happen. It was going to be gone anyway because I was very intimately involved with InfoWars. I was going to be, I was supposed to be on Schreier. I turn the job down because I wanted to do my thing. But I knew it. they said, just call, call the producer and Alex is going to talk to you because they wanted me to be a reporter with them. I said, no, because I wanted to do my own thing. And Alex, Alex basically was like, yeah, you probably should, you know, M multiple heads uh, are hard, harder to squash than just me. So you should do your own thing. So he encouraged me to do my own thing. Alex. Uh, you saw what happened to him. They completely destroyed him. For, why? How did they get to him? Through his support of Trump. You see how the devil works, Alex? But I think he's repentant now. I do. I, if he's not fully repentant, he's close to it. Because he lost everything. He's done. He knows he is. So now he's talking about vax the V word again. On his show. Uh -huh. She said, you are someone I enjoyed listening to. Get back at it. Thank you. I, I, I need some finances, which I'm going to go where I'm going to find some kind of shit job or maybe not shit job. We'll see. And I need to invest in a computer and a mic and you'll be seeing me every day. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing a, at least an hour a day. I would. So, yeah, God willing, that'll happen. You know. Yeah. There you go. So... This is what we're doing now to keep Revelation News going. It's yeah. just reporting on the news of what's happening and making it look and putting it in a perspective of Jesus or God. You know, that's what it's all about. You, you know, know, that's what it's about. Always was. 
I always enjoyed him. I came to Christ because of what he posted. So <laughs> you always loved Jesus. You always loved him. I, I did. You just put it away for a while. Yeah. But he had you from the womb. But if you think about it, I'm Jason's disciple <laughs> in a lot of ways. Okay. That's. No, you're not. You're, you're a disciple. <laughs> I'm Jesus's disciple, yes, yes but. You are. You know, I learned. Okay. The faith through you. Well, that's very sweet, but that's his shit. I know. I just told you his shit. I know. And you accept it. And that means that you're in. They just make it so hard to find work these days that doesn't pay breadcrumbs. Yeah. I was working 11 hours, seven days a week for a little while. I don't know how anyone does that. No. I don't know how anyone does that. Bless them. Bless. Thank you so much. Bless. Kind people are amazing. They're gems, angels. Yeah. I appreciate those guys. I've been really hearing from a lot of people from my old channel lately. That's awesome, though. I have They're been. coming back, baby. That's really cool. Yeah. And a beautiful thing. But uh, just for them to know, I've changed a lot. I have. I believe in Jesus, number one, and that has not changed. Oh, she's so sweet. Stay you and stay you, Shani. The both of you can do this. You know how this online stuff. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Matt. I currently work 11 hours a day, six days a week, out in the cold or heat. It's not fun. No, it's not. You how do you do that, dude? I 11 hours, six days a week, and that's what you're putting your... I'm so... That's... I don't know how you do it, man. Are you a cab driver? You gotta be strong. That's what I was doing as a cab driver is working six days a week. Twelve fucking hour shifts. Yeah. I was. I remember falling asleep behind the wheel. That's yeah. so dangerous. Yeah. They don't care. They just want their fares, the people that run it. Thank you, Lynn Alicia. We all wanted Rev back. They need you. <laughs> they need you. Boy, that's really sweet. Thank you. <laughs> but but I'm telling you, I am different. You're not going to get that guy that was in 2012 again. That sweet little boy is gone. He's gone. Oh, I yeah. know. He's, his throat was cut in Colorado. I changed. And, but it was this harassment that she could take this shit. She went through this for years. I was left alone to do my channel. Oh, Lena, I am so sorry. She was essayed and kidnapped while pregnant in 2013. Jesus. No, you're not the same. That's okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's so horrible. You survived, though. Yes, Is your same. little one okay? We don't need that rev. It's you, the rev, now. Yeah, the, you got this one. I wish it was the other guy. I do. Because he was much more innocent and, and, and not willing to fuck you. You wouldn't have seen me do that. That guy. That 2012, 2013, 2014 me. No. You would have never seen that. This hangout shit, cancer, came into my life. And that started the change. I'm sorry for introducing you. Yeah, I am people. too. I didn't know any better though. No, they did the same thing to you. Yeah, and ruined my life. They did the same thing to you. You're a victim of it, too. Yeah. But that hangout shit came into it. It was a cancer that just eroded my spirit. And I'm still trying to get back to that level of spirit that was in me. But I don't think that's going to happen. That's not for me to... That, that's the past. That Shani was talking about this. That's the past. I was meant to be that because it attracted some new believers, I think. They're like, oh, he looks that way. He's got long hair. He dresses metal. He's got like gauntlets on and shit. And he he, he looks different. He looks like I, something I could talk to. That's what the purpose was. 
but that was even too much for some people. Like Steve Danoon and I did a huge podcast together that was called Shabbat, Shabbat Live. And his audience started going to him and saying, do you really want somebody that looks like that to represent you, Steve? And as soon as he brought that to me, I said, no, Steve, let's stop. Because they're right. If they have a certain feeling about the way that they feel the way I look, then you shouldn't offend your audience. Because he came to me and said, I, I, I just want you to know this, brother. I don't want to stop doing what we're doing, brother. But they are coming to me like this, and I want you to know it. And I said to him, Steve, just let's stop. Shabbat life. It, yeah, it's on BTR. And I'm so glad you survived. Yeah. They were kidnapping pregnant women. Yes. I'm so sorry about that. And, and her dad is uh, the original drummer for Testament. I've heard of them. I have too. I've heard of them. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. My buddy Sam loved Testament, which is weird, right? <laughs> I think so. That's yeah. pretty weird. He liked the music. Hey, where the music flows, it flows. Yeah, I still pray for him. I hope he comes to Christ. I really do too. It'd be a very big miracle in his case because of the parent stuff. Using yep. Catholicism. That's so evil to do to people. Ah, they're bigger yeah. now because of streaming platforms. That makes sense. Testament? Yeah. I thought they were old, old band. Maybe I'm thinking of a different band then. No, I don't think you are. Her dad was the old drummer of it, so. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> That's really awesome. I that is. I've heard of them. I know I have. Yeah, man. Like... You got to do whatever you can for your babies. You do. Dep despite what people want to say about me, you got to do what you got to do for your babies. You know, my sons are happy right now trying to figure out what they're going to do with their life. Yeah, they're from the 80s, honey. It's right. I think my dad had a couple albums from Testament, actually. Yeah, boy. I'd have to see their album covers to make sure. My dad had so many albums back in that time. Yeah, I wish he never got rid of them. Some they changed when they tasted fame, yeah. Thrash metal. Yeah, it... it <laughs> When you have people who who put you into the mainstream, it really does change you because you get, because along with, you know, fans, you also get extremely obnoxious, hateful people to come in your life purposely to take whatever you have and, and destroy you. And um, this is, that's the price of fame. That's the price that everyone pays who gets famous is people come in your lives trying to destroy you. Because, because for some people, they don't want to celebrate talent. They want to destroy talent, you know, because talent for them is less money for them. And I know I'm saying it with just, like, a little tiny, like, fragment of what fame could be. But I had it. They made a whole band called Legacy. It talks about fame and fortune. The groupies were no joke. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I just got a taste of it, and I didn't like what I tasted. The bitterness that comes from that, and then thinking that everyone that comes along is your enemy, and they're not your enemies, is so bad when you're in that, like, defensive mode. Because you're just constantly just feeling like everyone's attacking you and trying to find something in you to take to use for their own selfish means I do you type up Shanny and there's only one and that's me oh. that comes up no there's a twitch chick that's pretty big Shanny named Shanny she yeah. stole my name oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, she's just a cam girl, so it's, you know. 
Yeah, they'll forget about her when she gets old and wrinkled and she can no longer serve their purpose of being masturbation. That's also what fame does to you. The older you get, the less valuable you become. Exactly, and because I was a ballerina trained 21 years, I became a stripper who did ballet. There you go. There you, they always do that, push you into the sex shit. <laughs> Protest of that shanty, no one has pizzazz like the OG shanty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry with that, Lena. <clears throat> Too busy with the groupies. <laughs> I love you so much. Can you write your name on my boobs? Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god my name was on her boo I feel so good you need to get laid <laughs> my god you just walk by and say that yeah well it's true but he has groupies he can he can screw them who Lena's dad Lena's dad? Oh, Lena the plug. No, dad. her! Who we're talking to right oh, now. Oh, the, the testament perk guy. Yes. All oh, right. Okay, groupies, yeah. I'm sure. See, Shani knows. See, I sold my virginity at 16 to a 40-year-old man for 30K. There you go. Wow. Yeah, I've heard of that stuff. I've definitely heard God, of that. God, I'm so sorry you got put into that trash. Wow. My dad signs shirts for all these groupies, t-shirts, tees, but where are my signed tees? The girl I yeah. knew, the girl I knew uh, before Shanty, in any way, the girl I knew had a story. She went to a Cannibal Corpse concert and, and all the band members signed her tits. Well, that's pretty cool. You know, if you're into Cannibal Corpse, I'm not anymore. That shit, no. No, 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 no talking about murdering women. I'm not into that anymore. At all. No. No more cannibal corpse. No, I've, I think I've had my fill of uh, murdered children and yeah, women. Yeah, exactly. And men. My cup is, is, is full over seeing what I've seen the last month now. No, I told you about that, that the band Live mm -hmm. convicted me on cannibal corpse. Yeah. God, guys, listen to the band live. Listen to bands like Live and Seven. Do if you like metal like me or hard shit. What did that 30K do for you, Lena? I set me free. I put money into my ballet, stripper heels, outfits, and my rent was paid by a 60-year-old man who adored me. All right. Hey, you survived. That's, I can't fault you on that. Look, 100% of the law is what? Consent. That's all I have to say. 100% of the law is consent. If Boy, you consent to something, it's fine. I tried to set myself free at 16 for my mom. That didn't go very well. She called the police, said I was a nasty teenager who was just a horrible person. <sighs> and the cops brought me to a halfway house. And I stayed there for about two weeks. And then they forced me to go back to my mother. Ugh. They didn't even listen to me. Why did they not get CPS involved? I don't know. They never listened to me. Yeah, they protected her. Why? I don't know. Because of who she was. I think your mother was a fucking witch. I think so, too. Yeah. Lena, I didn't get my inheritance, so I feel you there. Mm -hmm. 
my inheritance was stolen by my brothers and sister. Whatever there was, yeah. Yeah, they took everything. Whatever there was. Same thing happened to me, but I was sent to my grandmother's, back to my grandmother's. That's lucky you. I didn't have anyone except her. Why? I, like, I, I was happier in that halfway house. I felt like I had more freedom. Well, you did. I wasn't, I wasn't a babysitter stuck in the house all the time, watching my brothers. One of my mother was just an alcoholic telling me I'm nothing and I don't deserve anything good to happen to me in life because I'm a fuck up. Ew, I'm so sorry, Lena. <laughs> sorry, that's depressing. But that's okay. That's just what happened in my past. And I've moved on from it, and I've learned from it, and I've grown from it. You know? It's not my fault other people are nasty. And it's not your fault other people are nasty. Yeah, my mom was always trying to, when I was a teenager, always trying to get me to hook up with these men. Like grown men when I'm a teenager. Yeah, exactly. We're survivors. Yeah, it is heartless what they did to me, but you know what? That's on them. That's not on me. You know? Like, if everyone lived my life, maybe they wouldn't hate me. I don't know. They don't understand. No, they think I'm lying about these things. If they lived your life, they'd understand where you're coming from. Maybe. Yeah, my mom brought me to crazy adult parties and weird stuff went on. And I was just 14. So what the fuck is wrong with our parents? There's something wrong with that generation. Something seriously wrong with that generation, I swear to God. This stuff ain't normal. They were sexually repressed in a lot of ways. And then the 70s hit. 60s hit. 60s and 70s hit. And they were supposed to get that out of their system, but I don't think they did. I could tell you have massive trauma. Thank you. My mom was born in 64. Oh, wow. 64. Oh, my God. It's a hell of a year. No, that's way after my, my mom. My mom was born in 58. And my dad was born in 56. Mine was born in 46. My mom was born in 1946. That generation ate lead paint. That's a big contributor. There you go. That, I mean, that's not, not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lead-headed babies, man. Lead babies. You, you messed up your children. And RFK has brain worms. And people want him to be president with brain worms. Oh, congratulations, Dan, on your baby grandsons. That's awesome. Aw. New life. Exactly. Go look up the Seven Dust song called This Life. You'll cry. You're going to think of your new baby because that's what the song is about, a new baby coming into a life and just blessing everybody. That's what that song is. Seven Dust, the band is Seven Dust, and it's called This Life. Go look that up. Make you happy. <laughs> My dad was forty. Was born in 46. Oh, love for children of elder bo boomers. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's you. <laughs> Elder boomers. Yep. That's right. 
My dad was born in like 42. My dad was born in 42. And my mom was born in 46. Our grandparents worked hard to open doors for our parents just for our parents to slam the door in our faces and call us lazy. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. I was so blessed with my mother. She was... You can blow up with Revelation News. We got a good platform. Yeah, it's just a foreign concept for me because it was never about popularity with me. No, I, I know that. fuck about that shit. It was what I believed, one, and then revelation that he might give me. That's all it was. Whatever happens is in God's will. Yeah. We'll see where it goes. Yeah. I want to do something. Definitely. I would like to be a Christian. Howard Stern. Because I'm not clean, and I'm not going to be now. I'm not going to be. I'm going to be who I am, which will get views. Because I'm a Christian that's like, I don't care if I say fuck. I don't care if I say shit. I, I'm just, that doesn't matter to me. So, it'll be popular. I'm sorry about that, Matt. You don't need their money. My parents already told me to not expect an inheritance because they are spending every single dime of their money. I'm sorry, dude. Jeez, man. I'm sorry. That's shitty. That's really shitty. I've heard people do that a lot. I have too. And the Hollywood stars started doing that. Remember? Mm. Like, like, I can't remember specifics of who it was. It's said, oh, no, my kids are getting nothing from my fortune. Really? <laughs> Why? Wow. Here. Can you hold this for a minute? Yeah. I think Guy Fieri is one of them. There you go. Pretty sure I should stay away from the... A fault industry, too, to be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Like... There's no rich... Well, there are rich uncles in my family. They just don't give their money to anyone. There you go. It's their money. Okay, so it's okay for her to hurt me. Yeah, as long as you shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm 31 years old. I'm done being silent. Nora Jones, Jennifer Aniston, both forgotten children of famous parents. Yeah. I'm done being silent too, Lena. <laughs> The adult industry. It's okay. Use that. I did it too. I regret it, but I did it too. Don't ever feel bad about that. Ever. It's just work. Like any other work. Don't feel bad about that. I'm taking a class on history and application of rhetoric. That should be something Rev touches on. Yeah. Rhetoric? Oh. Yeah. Well, you were talking about propaganda, and the fact is, is that there's white hat and black hat propaganda everywhere. It depends on if you're working for good or bad. That's the thing. I say screw the propaganda and just be true. Yeah, but, but when you frame things that are true even a certain way, it can be considered propaganda. You know what I mean? I guess so. See, I look at propaganda as completely differently. I look at it as a bunch of lies packed out, packed on. Not always. To be good. It's not always lies. That's where you're wrong. Okay. Okay. They can take truth and craft what they want around it. They do that too. So they can use true statements too. Like the Nazis said that the quote unquote Jews control the banking system. Okay. That's a truth. I'm not going to say Jews because they're not Jews. They're Khazars. They're not Jews. But, it's funny they say that. Uh-huh. But yet they let the Rothschilds be free to control the Bacon system. The Vatican gave them that right. This is divine right of kings stuff. The Vatican gave the right the Bauer family. Their name is Bauer. We're not even Jewish. They're German. They're Germans. 
with no Jewish lineage. Get it? Fake Jews spoken of in Revelation, period. That It's very hard to talk about these subjects because all of the terms that are used are corrupted. So it's extremely difficult to talk about this. What you need to understand is that there's a verse in the Bible in Revelation, there's two verses that talk about it, and it's the synagogue of Satan. That's what these people are. They claim to be Jews, but they're not. That's it. That's what runs the world, actually. It's Nazis. Nazis run the world. I thought that was a lie. I thought we fought the Second World War to stop that. Wrong. America was with the Nazis at the top. They wanted the ideas so they can make a big boom-boom machine. They wanted a racist white Nazi nation-state in the Middle East, which is Israel. So it can control their affairs. Yes. It could drive policy. It's gross. Namely, the policy of the military-industrial complex to make money on this. So America, <clears throat> with government, with the government of Germany... Created the state of Israel. Which is a Nazi state. Yep. Killed a bunch of Palestinian people doing it who Ethnic, were living there. Ethnically cleansed the land for 70 years, but before that too. Yeah, before that too they were talking about it. Now they're talking about selling land. You know that big kerfuffle in L.A. where they claimed that the Muslims were fighting the Jews and blah, blah, blah. You know why that fight happened? It happened because the Jewish synagogue there was doing a event where they were selling these Palestinians land to other people in America. Which is totally illegal. Unit 731. That's interesting numbers. No, I don't know what you're talking about, Matt. Yeah, the golden America era. Well, yeah, but see, the thing, Lena, you know, with that is the golden era of America, the, the leadership of the country believed in eugenics. Do people understand that? That the elite in America and America itself believed in eugenic courts that a woman would go before a judge and he would say, you're not allowed to procreate. We were for that. So we loved Hitler. People don't get this shit. It's history, though. Oh, Hitler became this horrible person. Why? Yeah, because he was a useful asshole for the New World Order to, to use to say we have to go to war and make a bunch of money. But they believed in his shit. Eugenics. Yeah, you know this shit. Or own property, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Property ownership and all of this fucking trash. So gross. That they hold in front of our fucking nose. But yeah, they're fucking selling the land that was just bombed to white Jews. Jews. Some Ashkenazis are actual believers in Hashem. The real God. I find it funny they went to L.A. where all the rich people are to sell the land. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It always is. But, uh... Yeah. I wonder if Trisha Paytas is going to buy some of that land. I don't know. I don't know. She hasn't said shit about Palestine. My, Not shit. And she always used to talk about this type of stuff. But now that she's with Moses, she doesn't say shit about it. Bitch. Oh, yeah. McCarthyism. Yeah. McCarthy. He was part, partly right, though. 
there were a lot of toxic people in government. But guess what? The people that believed capitalism was bad were ahead of the curve. Communism is the way to go if you can make it work. <laughs> the U.S. wanted all the data on what, Matt? Moses has so many affairs on her. What? Yeah. Huh? Yep, he cheats on her. Huh? I know, she has all the money and he cheats on her. But I he, never heard but that he about can control. He can control her, too. He's her handler, I guarantee it. He's her handler. I didn't know about any of this. Yeah. Same with the medical information that came out of concentration camps. Will they just take it all? I typed it out. Okay, oh, the unit 731 thing. Okay. No, I don't know anything about that, Matt, whatever that is. Yeah, Shani nails shit all the time. <laughs> She also prophesies stuff before it happens. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Whatever. I know how Hollywood works. I I always would... Like, when I met Trisha in real life, she asked me... It, the weirdest question is, is my Christianity just a shtick? And I showed the tattoo on my hand, and I was like, no, this is real. And she gave me a, oh, that always bothered me. Like, who fucking asked that? Is is your Christianity a shtick? Yeah, and then she said, oh, you're the real deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I don't. I, is that what they ask in Hollywood to to believers? Is it just a shtick? Yeah, it's just a shtick, so I can go and and deceive many a believer. Yeah. Woo! Wow, that's some supreme evil, man. <laughs> but see, that shows you what Hollywood does, though. Like this whole like uh what is his name? He's like the guy who's opposite of of Drake. I don't know, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar. I was like, dude, you just put a bunch of people back to fucking sleep by by making it seem like this is peaceful and like this is how you bring the black community together and all that. And I'm like, you just got yourself sucked in by the spell of Hollywood again. Again. Mm. And here they are worshiping, like, Dre and all these men. And it's like, dudes, like... <gasps> they're just looking at you for a paycheck and you're doing them a favor. Good job, people. Mm. 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 I bet. Well, she's a phony. Most Jews in California, especially L.A., are Kabbalists. Yeah. That makes sense. Even even Mad Mad Madonna did that. Kabbalistic. Because they're Bullists. Kab they Kabul is a, uh, is, is a city in Afghanistan. <laughs> That's funny. Kabul. Yeah. Whatever. The Kabbalists, all they do is they worship these ancient things that don't even Black witchcraft can work. It's just a working for a bad side. <laughs> a demon can't do anything other than be a demon. The devil and demon. Change the words in that book, you got a curse forever. Yep. Enjoy. It says that it'll bring. But she she wants to be cursed though. She, yeah. I'm putting on I'm putting on a ceremony today in a religious thing. Yeah. She puts this like golden freaking pointed crown on her head, mm. and she like walks around the stage like she's some goddess, and all she is a mere human being looking like a fool on stage. Yeah. Yeah, I said that about Madonna. What about it? You have a problem with me? 
I, I, I have some guff with Madonna, okay? Oh. Okay? My guff is Madonna turned me and every girl I know into a little fucking whore. <laughs> That's my guff with Madonna. She was working for them. And her programming, her MK Ultra sex kitten programming. She was working for the patriarchy. Mm -hmm. Definitely. She's doing all that surgery because she can't admit to herself that she's an old fucking lady now. <gasps> You're an old lady, Madonna. You're not a young spring cupcake. My mom was your age, and she's dead now. You're not that far from the grave. <gasps> Grow up. <laughs> it's really dark. You I know. You want me to put on the light? It's not going to change anything, really. It's just going to add more heat. Hollywood and the music industry does it on purpose. Look what they did to all these poor child actors. Yeah. They love, true, Shani, and Madonna is losing it. Yeah, she is. They love sexualizing the children. Look what all these Hollywood female stars did, did to uh, Justin Bieber, including Leah Remini, saying that if, if there were no laws, we, we could see you naked, Justin. Like, why do you want to see a little boy fucking naked? Like, I'm a mom... Of a 15 and 17 year old. I don't look at. Like there's not one point. I looked at my sons and be, look at them in it. Or their friends and look at them in any sexual manner. I'm 40. But they do it at 40. I can't see why. Other than they were always part of that. Yeah. yeah you're correct. Disney. Disney bought Epstein Island. Why did Disney buy Epstein Island? Because one of their workers was called Jessalyn Maxwell, and she is called Madam for a reason, because she's a sex trafficker, and she used to sex traffic to Disney and all the politicians in, in Washington and Hollywood, including your dear Diddy. Yeah, he was sexually attacked. Yeah, they essayed him. They essayed him, and they didn't care that they essayed him. They thought it was funny. Ha ha ha, we sexually abused you. Pigs. Pigs. That's what they are, they're pigs. Oh God, the cats are crazy. Guys, chill. I'm trying to speak about important things. And you're wailing around like Xena. <laughs> Get him, Gavin all riled up. I see your tail pointing. You're ready. Do you want some food? You want the can of food? It's like, yes. You knew about Epstein Island personally? Wow. I got lucky at 13, turned down a trip to a party on that island. See, I was 13 and I was I was in John Casablanca's. I was that close to be on that Lolita. That close. You know, back in that time, they were trying to pick out all the kids, like, 12 to 15 and get them on that damn island. I tried to tell people that and then I was called a liar about it. <laughs> Am I a liar now? <laughs> after all this shit came out about them? Like, it was weird, okay? This is supposed to be a modeling agency, right? And they put you, they'd make you purposely naked in a room full of adults, and they'd just watch you naked. Mm -mm. And then I, I, I just recently remembered how every time afterwards I felt like I was drugged. 
Like I always came home like barely awake and like sleeping in the car. Always. What the fuck was that? This stuff was done to you. Probably. Stuff was definitely done to you. 100%. You've blocked it, I think. Yeah, I need to get some serious... Well, you like, might not even be able to... Comp- is it possible to regress memories when you've been drugged like that? I don't know. I don't think it is. Because you were. they probably knocked you out and they just did what they wanted with you. Ugh. With your unconscious body. Uh Like, why did John Casablanca line up all the girls naked? There's a reason for that, of course. We know what it is. It's the same as Trump going into Miss Teen American as putting his fingers in their mouths. Like a horse inspecting their teeth. Hmm. Perverse older men want young women. Or men. Boys. If they're gay or whatever. They want young. They usually like the young ones who like the girls, actually. It's more of a challenge. Ugh. So gross. Like, have you seen Usher lately? He is evil, 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 evil now. And that's because of abuse. Seething. Yeah, he's seething. Snake-like. Very. Absolutely. He embraced it. It's that adrenochrome, man. That's what they, the elite want. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> yes, I've been inspected like a horse for every strip club I ever worked. Less tattoos, the better. God, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Ugh. That's so demeaning as a person. If it's a normal career, you being a stripper, that's fine. You know, that's okay. But they, they abuse it. They do. These disgusting freaks abuse it. And it's male and female, I'm sure. You know, I got to see how you feel at the jiggles, right? You know, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. It's so disgusting. It's just taking it. It's abuse of mankind, of humankind. Abuse. <laughs> they look at us as cattle. They yes. don't look at us as people. I have to inspect the model before I fucking hire it, you know? But how is that not illegal to have a bunch of kids naked in one room with adults around it? No, that is illegal. It's allowed, you know? You know what that was, honey. Remember that Mason video, this was disgusting old men on thrones like kings, and there's that woman doing that dance with that chair. Yeah. That's what you're dealing with. They're so disgusting. No woman would want to touch them. No. Not one woman would want to touch that gross shit. They're forced to. They're forced to do what they do. God, I'm so, so happy I got out of the industry. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a blessing for you. Because I don't know what happened. It's all really a blur. I, I, I never felt like I felt weird every time I went. Oh, do you think they were actually drugging the girls? We know they do that. We know they do that. They ply all of the young girls with drugs and alcohol. Yes. You know why? You've drank. Yeah. (laughs) It loosens you up. This wasn't alcohol. Yeah, just drugs. Drugs can do that too. Ugh. The right ones. Ugh. Like, I'm so glad I finally got rid of my family. I despise them. They ain't good. No. That's for sure. No. They're just not. So. My sister had to work as a stripper. She said she had to 
turn her mind off and go through the motions. Right. Yes, they drug girls. I had a soda that paralyzed me. See, there you go. Oh, my God. There Why? You, there you go. D why? Oh. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm getting nauseous. Yeah. Yeah, I have a problem. I have a problem, and I know something happened. Something wasn't right. Thank God I didn't get on Epstein Island, right? You wouldn't be alive, I don't... I think most of the kids, especially the Disney kids... Guys, did you know they did that? That yeah. Disney... Did you know that Disney sent kids to Epstein Island? Why? Why? This is on record. They did this. They sent little ones to Epstein Island, Disney. And then Disney bought Epstein Island. What does Disney know about Epstein Island? I demand to know that. It's hiding something. As a consumer for years from a little fucking kid, for my mom even, okay, I need to know from Disney, why were you sending children to Epstein Island? And don't try and sit, tell me it didn't happen, because it did. It's on record. Why? Wow. Coincidence? Whatever. Put me off camera because I keep crashing the fucking... It's okay. It's no, it's not. I keep crashing it. It's so, okay. like, put it down at least or Fine. something. Fine. It, it reconnects itself. <laughs> Why is there so much horrible people that want nothing but sex and violence? I don't get it. The invention of violent pornography. That's your answer. And it's always been there. The debauchery, Romans, Greeks, uh, it's called debauchery or hedonism. That's what it's called. It's always been there. And in the modern era, it's even worse because we have the internet. So there's all number of people that could be victimized. Plenty of underage victimization on these apps. Like Telegram, I think, is one of them, and Snapchat, forget it. If you allow to have your kid to have a Snapchat, you are an idiot. Okay, I'm going to tell you that right now. If you allow your child to have, you shouldn't have parental rights if you let your kid have a Snapchat. Look through their shit. But there's apps out there that you can't believe what's going on. Open victimization of minor children. Every second right now, it's happening. There is a child being victimized right now because of one of those apps. Digitally or physically. Because these sick freaks. Just look up Matthew Bell. Yeah. Who, who your beloved G-Man stuck up for. A man who sexually abused children in the Philippines. He sticks up for them. Hell no, TikTok. Hell no, YouTube, unless I'm watching TV with them. Same with Rob Roblox? Oh, really? Roblox are bad for pedos, man. Wow, and, that made me twitch. That makes sense, though. Anywhere the children goes. That made me twitch, because you know who plays Roblox. Oh, well, I'm not worrying about him. Oh, you're not worrying about him? I am. I didn't know there was any freaks on Roblox. Yeah. No. Fucking way. If I'm dad, he'd be banned from that. He did the Roblox leans because his audience said go on Roblox. Why? I don't know. Uh-huh. Yuck. If I'm dad, he's banned from that. Minecraft. Is full of them too. William plays Minecraft. Then they can't play those games. They're going to be victimized. Oh, what are you going to do about it? They're going to be victimized. 
Eventually, they are. Well, he would tell me. Oh, my God, Matt. What the fuck? You could look at your schools and, and churches, too. You can find them. They're everywhere. And these sack of shit, gross fucking cunt companies allow this. Yeah. They're cool with it, and it's legal. Really? I see kids on in tubs on Google+. Plus. Flagged every one of them. <coughs> yeah, flag them. To tell the demons? <sighs> They were for it. They wanted kids in tubs in live streams on Google because Google's run by a Kazar, Eric Schmidt. He's me, a Kazar. Me, I can tell my vitamin D is low, so I have no energy. I'm sorry. Thanks. For Jason, he's, he's just being Jason. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Lena. You're right. Hey, Becca, how you doing? I hope you're feeling all right. These companies don't care what happens to the kids as long as the money's rolling in. Matt, you're a man with testosterone. Don't you want to eviscerate these fucks? <clears throat> I've never felt more like David in my life than now. Lord, eviscerate it. Delete it from history. Do you drink vitamin D milk, Shani? Yeah, when we get milk, that's what she gets, yeah. Yeah, but when you're starving and you have not much money for food... I, I had Jason fix me up some um, ricotta... You want more of that? No. Ricotta cheese is very heavy. He got me some ricotta cheese and cucumbers, so I ate that. And some eggs. She'll have some eggs later on. What's up, Gibran Beach? Uh, you just followed. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. We don't try to be de deliberately offensive, but, you know, I have to take supplements because I work o overnight. I'm sorry. Yeah, supplements, yeah. I am on supplements. I got an appointment in two weeks. I doubt they're going to do anything about it. Hi, Krista. We'll see. I just have to accept that I'm going to feel like ass for the rest of my life. Exactly, Matt. I'd ask Jesus to turn around and forgive me for the sin I was about to do if I saw a child predator like that. Yeah. Forgive me ahead of time, Lord. I'm sorry. I just got to take this out. Exactly. Yep. Be the, I agree. Be the machete preacher. Machine gun preacher. Or the machine gun preacher. That's correct. Sheepdog. Alex used to talk about this all the time. If you are a man, you need to be a sheepdog. And that means you protect innocence. That's all it means. If something is innocent... And you look at that shit happening and you do nothing, you're a sack of shit. You're not a man. You're not a man if you're okay with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, guys. Just woke up. Got to get ready for work again. I'm sorry. See, that's everybody's life. They literally go to sleep right after they're done at work and they go right back to work. That's their life. Yeah. They don't have time. To well, we could be in nature and make our own gardens, and that only takes a couple hours, and then we could go back in our houses and enjoy the rest of our life. Yeah. Gee, that's what they took from us. <laughs> you like my hat? Thank you. Yeah, I get a lot of compliments on the hat. I went to Walmart the one time, and I was getting just some clothes because I had a little bit of money, and... uh a black lady said to me, that's my shit right there. I love that hat. 
I she probably wanted me to give it to her, but I like it too much. I want it. I want it. <laughs> I believe in the Roth stuff. Yeah, man. Livestock guardian dog. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That's right, Silva. Minions. Yep. Have you ever thought about living off grid? Yes. Yeah. All the time. Definitely. It's a dream of mine. That's a goal. That's a goal. The internet is such so ubiquitous now that it's almost needed, though. But you can have the internet off the grid. Yes. You can. Yes. Now, they have technologies that you could just put your own tower up almost, which is awesome. That's the That's shit. True. <laughs> you know? Um, off the grid living's the way to go and have your own fucking food and water supply if you can, too. Have, your, have a but well. But collecting rainwater is illegal. It is. Isn't that crazy? Fuck it. I'll collect rainwater and you won't even know. How about that, government assholes? It takes a lot of work, but possible, yeah. You're right. Definitely, it's possible. To be completely off-grid, you got to have a full farm. Uh -huh. You need a farm, a good farm. Functioning good farm. And you can live forever. That's what we should have done. Instead of this stupid internet shit, we should have just gotten ourselves a farm. Yeah. I know, right? Coulda, woulda, shoulda, huh? Have you received your Medicare card yet? No, nah, it's like 300 bucks to get here, man. Forget it. Okay, money comes in here and gone. Immediately. So. Pretty much. There's no saving. It's, it's impossible. I was working seven days a week, 11 hours, and I can save shit. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, we can get some bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you're so poor, you can't even afford bread. Because cucumbers are cheaper than bread. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Do <laughs> you know that they have a rain tax now in some states? I wish I was making that up. Are you fucking what, Matt? A rain tax? A rain tax? That's How why do you I, fucking tax nature? They, What's next? Air taxes? They claim to own nature, yes, pretty much. Yeah, they're full of shit and they can kiss my fucking fat ass. Thank you. Bless you. We love you. That's why I go hunting because the only thing that food costs me is my time. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Time. Time is the greatest Time. money. It's on my side. Yes, it is. There's a major recall on cucumbers because of E. coli. Not here. Not here. The tax you based on how much it rains and how... They tax you based on how much it rains and how much property you have. <laughs> yeah, we're live again. What's up? This is live. Man, the Americans need to have a second tea party, me thinks. No, we, this government is, no. We just yeah, throw, you, how about this? We thanks, just, Gibran. Well, the, I hope you'll like us and come back. Go ahead. You know what we do? We throw all the marijuana in the water and and that'll be our new tea party thing. We throw all the marijuana in the water and get all the fishies high. And then that water comes in and gets us high. See, it's a win-win. <laughs> Just throw the marijuana in the water system. Fuck you, assholes. All right, cool. It was great meeting you, Gibran. <laughs> uh, Lucian, at least now you're, talk you're talking to is, is not at us. At least now you're talking to and not at us? Huh? I don't know. The presidential debate tomorrow. Oh, my God. Ew. Deanna, I want to see it. Definitely. It's geriatric hour. And let's see which one shits their pants first. Do you know how many times I've spent working at a freaking retirement home probably hearing the same fucking conversation over and over again? 
one minute. I gotta pee. <clears throat> I'll be right back. No, I don't want to cancel it. I just want to turn the mic off. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about that. I'm back. What were we speaking about? Oh, the presidential date debate tomorrow. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, he may be looking for it. Other people may be looking forward to it, but I, I just, I'm not. Entertainment. Because it's just two really old men arguing with each other about shit that I've heard a billion times in retirement homes. Like, I'm not an ageist, okay? But I just think there should be a time where we let our elected officials retire. Like, we don't call it a, 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 an age limit. Instead, we call it a retirement time, you know? Like, if you're, if you're 65 and older, you can't run for president because you, you, you need to be in your retirement time. But yeah, I'm with you, Sova. I just, I just don't care anymore. Like both of them, both of them support Israel, and both of them are going to continue to hurt the Gazans and and try to cause more wars. And I honestly think that Trump is going to be worse than this because I think that Trump is Benjamin Netanyahu's little earpiece. So whatever's happened, whatever's going to happen to America. We brought it on to ourselves. <laughs> so, I'm not happy with this election. I know either way it's going to go wrong. Badly. Because our government will never choose the betterment of mankind. And they never have. They never have and they never will. But praise God for everything he's doing for everyone though. Like he's keeping everyone alive and and giving them unmerciful or or <laughs> unwaver unwavering mercy. Sorry, that's what I meant. That's true. Unwavering mercy to everyone. And if I were it, this is why I'm not God. Oh, if I was God, it'd yeah. be over. It'd, it'd be over. Oh, yeah. No, the kid, the, the beheaded child, that would have been it for me as God. Yeah. Like, that's it. No more grace. No. Yeah. Nope. But he he's really showing that he's hyper graceful. Yes. God right now. And I'm, I'm amazed how merciful this God is. So, like, if you if you want to, like, try to say he's not merciful, you, you're a liar. And even the Palestinian people would tell you you're a liar. Because <laughs> they've seen God God's mercies more than I ever have. You know? I don't know how they're alive. I don't know how they still exist. I don't know how they still have their joy. And how, how they're just... Just really a remarkable people. They all praise God. They celebrate martyrship. I, it's just... It's amazing. It's amazing... How much they stand on their two feet and, and just keep going. That tenaciousness. That, that, that need to survive and live is just it's an act of courage that I don't think any American could actually do like they were built for this period the god I love the Palestinian people I like I legitly fell in love with them legitly yeah they're beautiful and um 
I don't think anyone should harm such such lives that are so precious and just unbelievably forgivable. Like, they forgive the Israeli government for doing this to them. They forgive them. Willing martyr. That's, that's, that's beyond comprehension to most Americans' minds. Is you could go through all that and yet forgive your enemy. Allah is sufficient. That's what they say every time. Yes, he that is. That mother that lost her, all of her offspring. There's two boys, I think. Yeah. And she was just talking to God. Yeah. You, you gave them to me. You took them away. It's fine. My sons are martyred. My, there's two new bridegrooms in heaven. She literally said that. There's two new groomsmen in her, in paradise. You took, you gave me them. You took them away. God is sufficient for me. That you tell me how many Americans would act like that? No, they. If their kids were killed, they'd say, "I want you to decimate the enemy." They took my children. These people, bless God for it. That's true, people of the Creator. That's true There's, faith. That's yeah. That's Jesus Christ. That's literally what Christ did. I am willing, Father. If if you can't take this cup from me, Father, I am willing. I mean, these people are direct descendants of the blood of Jesus Christ. David. They're the bloodline of David. They're the bloodline of David. They they are related to Mary. And Joseph. And Joseph. Like that rich, rich Davidic blood is in them. Yep. The Palestinians. There's no people like them. No people like them. Yeah, exactly. But see, that's, I mean, they're just blessing God. They're blessing God for their children being slaughtered. That's unheard of, man. Unless you got God in your heart. Truly, not bullshit. And it's a high level of spirit they got. Because this is it isn't a monolith. You can be a believer in an academic sense that you read the Bible and said, I believe it. That's different. It's still saving. It's salvific. Yeah. But there's a different level of that, which is the spiritual filling of your cup, which not many people do ever. I'm not full cup of spirit. No way. These people in Palestine are spirit filled to the brim of, without a doubt. To go through that kind of suffering and thank God for it, no. You're on the level of like Daniel in the lion's den. That's massive faith. To thank the Israeli government for taking your sons. That's incredible. That's the light of the world. That's why the world hate, hated the Jews since the beginning. Because that's their spirit. They will not be broken. As long as there's breath in their fucking mouth, they're going to say, God is sufficient for me. And this is my land. Yep. Because it is their land. They've been there thousands and thousands of years. That's their land. Not, How dare we take their land from them? Not people from Poland. That's not their land. No. <laughs> and Americans are taking their land. Mm -hmm. And selling too. it. And, 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 and... And Canadians are taking their land. That land doesn't belong to them. They're reselling an other person's land covered in their own blood. Do you know how haunted their houses are going to be? They make merchandise of men's souls. My husband's name is Daniel, and every time you mention Daniel in Lion's Den, I feel it. My husband is the same. Well, bless him. <laughs> good. I'm glad you found somebody good. Me too. Because if you're abused in the past, you need a good guy, so you found one. A good, good guy that will understand your... Uh, Plight. Traumatic, trauma-filled history. <laughs> Haunted Those houses. who know, who know. And if you understand why I'm laughing, you understand. It's really me making fun of my own self. Thank you, Shani. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm -hmm. 
Shana, yep, haunted houses, land. Oh my God, you 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 know about a native sacred burial and how that makes a house go haywire. The same thing is going to happen with a Palestinian home. Oh my God, I don't know. It might even be worse. It might be worse. Uh -huh. That energy. Yeah. No. They're they're going to create portals. Dude. Seriously, they're going to rip the fabric of time and space apart with that type of evil. I, they, but that's what they want. They want these demons coming through. The, the six angels of the, of the bottomless pit that they got to Well, release. good. They, they have no control over themselves. No, they don't. Because they're so filled with these demonic beings. Mm-hmm. It's Oppenheimer. It's that spirit. I've become deaf. You know, it's that's they feel that way. Prince King Charles. He's showing you who he is. I'm gonna bathe in baby blood. Yeah. That's who he is. The adrenochrome. I have to get high and stay younger longer because I don't want to get old so people can make me look worthless. Yeah, well, fasting God people are more powerful than anything Satan could imagine. <laughs> fasting God people. Creator people. You know, there's this fad in China where they take children's faces and they implant them on their face holy shit they do a face transplant of children in china i'm not kidding you they could possibly die from that but yet they do it that's we've seen it <laughs> we've seen it ourselves little i don't even know what to say man that's so crazy it looks ridiculous looks like a doll head yeah, they look like doll heads. Because they put a child's face on theirs. That's how the child trafficking is ha happening in uh, China. Is they're taking their body parts. Ain't that nice? That's some wild shit. Mm -hmm. Let's just slice a face off of a baby and put it on our own. I have to have my youth. So even if it comes from another child's face, I'm going to do it. This is the same people that take the organs of the Falun Gong because they live, live organic, clean lives. They're Buddhist. So they're like, absolutely, we're going to take your spleen. They put them in the back of a van and take their spleen. Spleen, absolutely. Our elite need them. Sorry. Did you like your spleen? I'm sorry, you don't have any human rights here in China. We need that. You're too healthy to have a spleen. Yeah. <laughs> what you need a spleen for? You're living so clean, you'll grow it back. You know. Don't worry. It's just a little piece of your liver. That's okay. <laughs> It'll grow back. It's just a spleen. Fucking Frankensteins. But you know, the guy that owns all of the Chinese, uh, you know, exports, he needs I a spleen. I hope the people who steal these body parts, I hope their bodies reject the body parts. These people wake up in bathtubs with their kidney missing. Yeah. It's true. Ugh. Our, our uh, organ harvesting. But I guess I'm a, I'm glad I'm a fat fatty because my organs are useless to you fucking assholes. <laughs> well, it's not necessarily that your, your organs are unhealthy. It's, you know. I'm glad I'm fat for you, Hollywood thugs. Because you won't want me in your theaters and in front of your cameras. You have to do this mesh plastic surgery for us to accept you. You can take my middle finger and shove it up your ass if you want to. That's how I respond. 
I ain't doing no plastic surgery. No. Why would I destroy what God made me as? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. You notice that today the back of my Geek Bar Watermelon Ice Vape says a crazy Chinese address. Mmm. Yeah. They sell us their shit, so that's what we're going to deal with, you know? For now. <laughs> I don't know. Tensions are rising. I'm waiting for Russia to bomb us, but they haven't done it yet. Yeah, and Putin doesn't seem interested in doing that. Yeah, Putin doesn't want to hurt us. He wants to join us. He really does not seem interested in that shit at all. No. They say, oh my God, Putin's saying this, that, that, and the other. And then you actually hear a real translation of what he says to the press and stuff. And he literally said this. He said, you tell us that we want to attack NATO and you call us crazy? Mic drop and left. He is no threat to the world system at all. No. He's like, why would we do that? We'd have all of the North Atlantic Treaty, a, a group coming after us? You guys are fucking insane if you think we'd do that. I don't know why they are at the border of Lebanon. They want to, they want to make Lebanon into Gaza. Israel? Yeah. Yeah. Lebanon would be... They want to take their land, too. Lebanon would be part of the Abraham Covenant. And, they, and they're going to take Egypt's land, too. Ah, uh, that's the border. That's where it ends. Uh, Egypt. Okay. Egypt. The they, U, well, the Euphrates. Yeah, there's... Yes, yeah, so that's part of Egypt. It would be a, probably a chunk of it. Probably. It's a huge piece of land. Massive. From Jordan to the Euphrates... Or is he playing a game to trick us? I don't think so. Yeah, that's possible. I don't think he is. That's totally possible. I see him trolling us a little bit. No, I think it's possible that you're right. He could be trolling That us. he is trolling us. But I would be more inclined to believe him than anyone else in the system right now. Because he seems to me like, I'm not going to say an honest guy, but he doesn't hide shit, I don't think. No, he's a lot like Bush. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not saying you're wrong, okay? I don't know. I don't think so. He also said that he wanted to join NATO when yeah. he became leader. And, and Clinton said, fuck you, you can't do it. Yeah. We can't do that right now, Vlad. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bill's you, a, you, Bill's didn't, an ass. you didn't want world peace. Because you wanted the military-industrial complex to continue making money. Well, that puts more pay on to him, too. He makes more money. They make money. He makes money. You think they're not making underhanded deals together? Of course they are. Well, I'll say this, okay? This is what I'll say about Putin. I don't know his intentions. He might want global domination secretly, and he's really good at putting on a face. Well, he is good at putting on a face regardless. He's one of the best politicians that's ever lived because he's extremely intelligent and he can communicate well. Yes. So is all of he's doing is manipulation and he really wants global domination? Possibly. But I don't know. All of this stuff is about land grabs, though. All of it. Yes. What China's doing to the Ugar people, it's a land grab. Yeah. What what Israel is doing to the Gazans and now Lebanon is a land grab. What Russia is doing is a land grab. Yeah, Lebanon's definitely going to fight back, Deanna. They're going to lose. Deanna. Israel's going to get their ass kicked by Lebanon. They got so many weapons. And they have all their sights. They weren't watching Lebanon for a long time. They should have. But they weren't because they were too focused on Gaza. Yes, Vladimir Putin was a KGB guy. Yes. He walks and moves like a soy. Oh! I can tell you this, that the guy's not dumb. He's a brilliant guy. Uh, and 
I've heard that he does want to reestablish the USSR. KGB, that's right. He was Russian intelligence. Real bad dudes. Real bad. But that doesn't mean necessarily that he is bad himself. I don't know. Putin to me is an interesting guy. I don't know. It's the same thing with Elon Musk to me. There are times that it seems like he's totally on the right track of wanting to help humanity and do that. But then he'll just turn and just be like fully fund the worst thing imaginable. He's unstable. I don't know. Sometimes he's an angel. Sometimes he's a devil. He always posts memes like that. Like I'm fighting for my own brain. I want to do good. He posts this meme always of a priest looking at a naked nun. Like she's got the thing on and she's nude. And the temptation. I think he's fallen for temptation a lot. So he's going to lose. I'm just if, saying, if, if I fucking, had his money, I'd change the world with it. Yeah. He has it to do that. What happened to this end in world hunger shit? That he gave like eight million dollars, eight billion dollars to the UN to end global hunger. I'm insane. Elon is my crush, but I agree. He definitely has no. Uh, he's definitely into temptation. Yeah. I look. Have I, you seen I, his robot? Could I speak for one second and then yeah, and then I just got to get this out because I forget shit uh, stuff. Uh, just uh, I me forget. Too. Uh, I could put myself in his shoes with all that kind of money and, and I could say I'd be perfect and I'd do what was right with it. Maybe not. The, with the stuff, the type of temptation he has, I, I don't know if I could handle that. I don't know. He's, he's the richest man on the planet. I don't know. Yeah, go talk about the robots. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Oh my God, they showed them with the guns. They showed them with the guns. They're so fucking accurate. That's it. That's Terminator. Yeah, it's they, term they look like Terminators. No, they look scarier than Terminators to me. The way it goes to... Here's your gun. Holy shit, that was scary. Yep. That was really scary. All right. We're going to end this broadcast right now because Jason needs a break. He's overwhelmed. Anyway, peace and Maranatha, people.